Stop waiting to be ready to do the thing. You're never gonna be ready. There's never gonna be a perfect moment to ask that girl out. There's never gonna be a perfect moment to make the move. There's never gonna be a perfect shot to record the video. You're never gonna have the perfect fucking physique to post that picture. There's just, there's just always gonna be something that's off, guys. Even this, right now, I just stuttered and I'm at the very beginning of this video. I'm 30 seconds in, there's a plane flying overhead as I started this video. I had the urge right now in real time to turn off this video and start it over because it wasn't perfect, because it's not perfect, because the audio is not perfect, because I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore in several other videos recently. I should really go back inside and put on a different outfit so you guys think I have more clothes and I could go get a haircut and, and try this again when the wind's not blowing and the plane's not flying overhead. It's never gonna be perfect. You're never gonna be optimal physique. I had this kind that's like, I wanna join the program, just wanted to grow my hair out first. Just wanted to lose some weight first. Just wanted to make some more money first. For what, dude? Just so you could let more time go by and still be in the same position. I tell guys this all the time. I said, hey dude, if we could look back three months from now and you accomplish the goals, but your bank account has less money, would it be worth it? And every dude says the same thing. Yeah, it would. It would be worth it. So I say, so why the fuck aren't we doing it right now? What the fuck are you waiting for? You know what it is? The logical brain. Well, if I had to think about it, it's because I don't know if this is gonna work out. I don't know if this is gonna work out. This part isn't the right time. No fucking shit. No shit, dude. I wasn't ready to be a coach when I started my fucking YouTube channel, Coach Kyle. I'm screaming. This dude's coming out the building right now. Oh no, the whole staff's gonna watch me doing this. Gotta redo the fucking video. Look, got fucking 20 dudes watching me. I'm talking loud right now. Gotta redo the video. It's not perfect. There's car horns in the background. It's not perfect. The girl's walking. She's on the phone. She's holding flowers. She's on the phone. She's walking. It's not perfect. She's out of my league. I got to go work on my look first. Can't post this pic. People are going to judge me and unfollow me. Can't state my opinion. People are going to disagree with me. I had a client who said, I can't lay on the car horn. I'm worried. It's rude to the driver in front of me. You give too much of a fuck about everything, dude, and it's shackling you. You don't even realize how much it's shackling you because you tell yourself a story that justifies the fucking excuse. I don't care what happens on the rest of this video. This video is going up. Honestly, I don't even care if I fuck up the second half of this video. I'm posting the video. But that's the whole point. It's not going to be fucking perfect. Even right there. I was out of breath. It's not going to be fucking perfect. And that's okay. You jump out the fucking plane and you figure out how to put the parachute on, on the way down. You just start driving down the road. The lane will develop. The lane's not there. You guys are sitting back trying to fucking plot the whole thing out. How much fucking action have you taken today on the thing, dude? How much did you take yesterday? That's all it is. The answer to that question is, is proportionate to your level of results right now. How much action did you take on the fucking thing today? Oh, but dude, yeah, but I, I got so much fucking work. I got this fucking, I got this guy in my lower tier fucking program. I don't even like running the lower tier because it's, it's a bunch of fucking dudes who don't have that much cash and they got a fucked up mind. They got a lower level mindset. That's probably why they don't have fucking cash, dude. He said, hey man, I was just wondering like, you know, cause I'm really busy fucking, you know, really, really busy for the majority of the week. So I just have that one night to go out. Like, well, can I get a result? So how the fuck are you on the call right now? It's not Saturday night. How the fuck are you on this call? Well, I'm driving, I'm driving to work. I'm just, you know, I'm driving in between houses. But I just don't have time to go out and like socialize. How the fuck are you on this call? Well, it's because I'm driving. Okay. Do you see anybody near you? Go park the fucking car, dude. Well, that's extreme. That's extreme. I'm not going to do all that. Yeah, you're not. You're not. So sit on the fucking call and shut the fuck up, dude. I don't think you understand the question. No, I don't think you understand the situation, dude. I don't think you get the fucking situation. 
the, the more difficult your day is, the more efficient you're gonna need to be. The earlier you're gonna need to wake up, the more difficult the task is, and you're gonna have to go out of your way to make it fucking work, dude. I said, what else did you do today? Well, I went to the gym, I went to Chipotle. Okay, then you find a fucking way somehow during all of that to get some fucking social interaction in. Well, I just, he started backtracking. Well, I just don't think you understand the question. Dude, you can't even accept the fact, because I'm. it's because I'm calling you out and talking aggressively to you. You can't accept the fact that you're fucking wrong. You give too much of a fuck, you're trying to justify it to me. Look, this guy's watching too. You can't give a fuck, guys. Straight up. But the only way you get to those levels is by breaking the, the habit and the structure and the routine of the bullshit you're in right now. You're in a fucking bullshit routine. It's not efficient. There's a lot of vices, there's bad habits, there's bad self-talk. All of that shit is not optimized and there's no wonder you don't have fucking time then. It doesn't take a lot of time to post a picture. It doesn't take any effort to eat less food. It doesn't take that much time to pull out your fucking camera. I know you guys are on a commute. I know you guys are fucking driving around. I know you're watching this fucking YouTube video. You could be putting in time to whatever that thing is that you're avoiding. It's some sort of, it's some, it's some sort of, it's some sort of concept around women, dating, social confidence, your friends, your money, your physique, your vices, your bad habits. It's the self-talk. It, it's all of them, dude. I know it's all of them because I know who watches my channel. I know if you guys are on this video, you probably watch the softer videos. Like dudes like, the, you know what? These videos have less retention on them because the guys, it doesn't even resonate with the majority of dudes. They like, no, I want to watch the fucking three simple lines you need to say to the girl. You fucking dumbass, dude. I hate putting out those videos now. I have a backlog of them, so we still drip them out. But this is the real shit, man. These are the real, this is the real fucking talk, dude. Fuck the stage three technique shit. It's like, yeah, that stuff's good too. But like, you can't just do that. You gotta wake the fuck up. All of these videos, it's wake the fuck up. It's mindset, it's action, consistency, dude. But it, 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 you need that repetition on a daily basis. I said it earlier in the video. What have you done today to fix the fucking problem? Well, I just don't have time. You do. There's more opportunity out there than you, than you think there is. But when you're in your own habit and your own routine, that's all you see. You have like this fucking tunnel vision to the world and the story you're doing. So that's what you see. Put me, I don't care what fucking city you live in. I don't care. I don't care what job you have, what money you make. Like guys, I was making $25 an hour living in my mom's basement at 30 years old, 28 years old, whatever the fuck it was. That's where I started. It just starts with moving forward today and, and accepting the fact that, hey, I'm gonna do this today. It's not gonna be good. It's not gonna come out natural. I have another client right now. He's like, yeah, he's been struggling to like make the move on and kiss the girl. And he's like, it just feels unnatural. I said, why the fuck would it feel natural? You've never done it. It's not until you've been doing something consistently that it becomes natural. Just feel like it's not me, it's not me. Yeah, it's not you, dude. Wake the fuck up, you gotta make a change. It's not you. <laughs> Do you get that? It's not you until you've been doing it. And it's not gonna come out perfect. It's not even gonna be close to perfect. You know when it comes out perfect? When you've done it like a thousand fucking times. That's when it comes out perfect and raw and real and, and smooth and aesthetic or whatever the, whatever the fucking thing is, dude. Take action today. That's all for this video. If you want to be around this energy more, this mindset, you need this self-talk. Look, you need to be around this on a daily basis because it's not embedded deep enough into your subconscious yet. When you consume the right content consistently, it goes deeper and deeper into your skull. When you communicate with that person directly or that content directly, it really resonates. If you spend money to consume that content, it goes even deeper. If you have people around you that also believe in it, it goes in even deeper. I have all of those things going on inside of my programs, guys. If you're interested, click the link in the description. Also, follow me on Instagram because I'm posting shit like this every two hours on my stories. You need to be consuming this content all the fucking time. It's absolutely life changing. My life is changing right now. You're watching my life change. And it's not because I did the pickup shit. 
And it's not because I moved to Miami. It's because of the daily habits I'm doing every single day. Every single day I'm doing the right habits, taking the right action, with the right self-talk, with the right routine, pushing myself into the uncomfortable thing. And as a result of that, you're literally watching my mindset, my communication, my confidence, my entire life is changing in real time as you're watching this video. If you want that for yourself too, because you need this, dude, it feels fucking good. I feel way better than I felt over the last couple years. Some of you guys have been watching me for a while. Some of you guys are brand new. But I've, I've never felt this good or this powerful or this sharp. And it's because of everything I'm doing right now. So you want to do whatever you can to get around this fucking energy, to tap into this. It's absolutely life-changing. You have bad habits, bad vices, bad friends, bad structure to your day, bad self-talk. It's all crippling you. Link's in the description. Talk soon. Peace out.